Hello everybody, it's James here with James the Fitness. And today's gonna be a little bit of a different video, but I thought of this because I need something to talk about and uh, I wanted something interesting, something that's different from the traditional training uh, informative stuff that I do. But it's still gonna be informative, but instead of talking about humans in this video, I wanna talk about gorillas. Why are gorillas so much stronger than humans without even training. There's many reasons for this, but first, like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, and if you have any questions or you want me to answer your questions, then leave them below. Uh, so, gorillas. Gorillas are obviously way stronger than humans. They are because they have greater number of fast twitch muscle fibers, which means the fast twitch muscle fibers are the ones most responsible for maximum strength, but they tire out quicker. The slow twitch don't produce as much force, but they have more endurance. We have more endurance fibers than we do fast twitch. And every human on earth has more endurance fibers than they do fast twitch. And that's because we are an endurance oriented species. We have to keep going, going, going. So imagine if we are, imagine if we just decided like back in the day when we had a hunt for our food. Oh, um, we've been running around for an hour, but um, we couldn't get any food, so we're just gonna give up. No, we have that thing, we have endurance, keep going. Now it's to say that someone's a, someone that, that is obese is gonna have a lot of endurance. No, but biologically, uh, the evolutionary reason why we have more slow twist fibers is because we are endurance oriented. Gorillas are strength oriented. They have more fast twist muscle fibers so they can exert, exert more force on an object. And they have enough endurance fibers that they can actually still go for quite a long time but not as long as humans can go for it. Now is it to say that a gorilla has uh, less work capacity than a human does. Um, no, because they're bigger. Um, but this is, this is all relative here. This is not about size. This is about evolutionary um, reasons. Gorillas also have more. Um, they can. They have more neurons simply due to the fact that their neural signals are different. The neural signals are different because humans have very, very specific and very, very demanding fine motor skills. We can write, we can touch things, we can tie our shoes, do basic things, uh, eat with a fork. And as we do these endurance oriented things, we take, take a lot of our neurons that we do have and place them into the fine motor skill components. And with the fine motor skill components, we do not have as enough, enough neuro uh, neurons to lift the amount of weight that gorillas can lift and apes. So, but but uh, remember, gorillas don't have to worry about writing. All they have to do is pick something up. But remember, when we pick something up, we have a conscious effort to grab and then do this. We clench our fists. Gorillas really don't have a something to clench onto. It's kind of like a hook. They're not using their fingers. They're, they just move objects through their body mass and um, uh, just total size. When are you gonna ever see a gorilla pick much stuff up? They're strong because they can produce a lot of force. They're strong because um, they're so big. They're strong because um, they're, they're also fast too. So 
So all the all these things, they produce a lot of body force. Is really what what it comes down to. Because you're not going to put a barbell in front of a gorilla's face and it's going to pick it up. Not going to happen. He might attempt to pick it up, and he could definitely pick it up, but it's going to be a lot harder for him simply due to the fact that humans grip things. Gorillas basically do not. I mean, they grip things, but they don't clench their fists. They don't have as much neuro needs as humans do. So they have more neurons, and they have enough neurons left over to lift more weight. Remember, and they're a lot bigger than humans. Um, I can promise you, because gorillas eat a ton of food. I mean, I have to Google it, but it's an insane amount of food. That food is used to put on muscle. The more food we eat, just like in humans as in gorillas, the more muscle we have, the more fat we have, and the more size we carry. Gorillas have a lot of muscle. Gorillas probably have, actually I wouldn't say probably, they do have as much muscle as, let's say, the average competitive bodybuilder. Probably even, probably even more. I'll go so far as to say average gorilla has more muscle than freaking Phil Heath. All right, um, that, that's, that's just reality. They have more muscle, therefore they're going to be stronger. A bigger muscle is a stronger muscle, and a stronger muscle is a bigger muscle. But it has to do with the genetic components that gorillas carry. They have more muscle fibers, uh, fast Swiss muscle fibers, so therefore they can generate more strength with less work. Because, also too, they have less neurons, and they have no, they have less neurons that they have to utilize to do things, and also they simply are bigger than humans. So that that basically sums it up. But remember, a fast twitch fiber is a fiber that will tire quickly but it's strong slow twitch is a fiber that will continuously go until it's tired and has more endurance um the endurance fibers um all, all the fibers are used during weightlifting like when you're lifting a heavy set you're not just using the um Fast twist. I hope someone's not realizing that. Just the slow twist gets tired immediately, and the fast twist takes most of the load. You're using all your muscles when you're lifting. You can't just use one muscle or another. Alright guys, I hope this video has been useful, and I'll talk to you all next time.